there are some changes to the student visa in the UK and this was recently updated. So I'm here to bring to you the good news. Are you ready guys? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're coming across my face or my channel for the very first time, my name is Faith Ojone. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back again. Like I'm here to give you guys good news. If you're a student currently in the UK or you're a student abroad that you're studying in the UK or you're planning on coming to the UK as a student, you just got admission. This video is for you because it's loaded with good news. Without saying so much guys, let's get started. <laughs> There are three major changes to the student visa. So I will start from the least important one then to the very important one. So you would want to watch this video till the end. So let's start from number three. Number three is the graduate route. The UK government recently introduced the graduate route that was in 2021, which means that if you study in the UK, after your study, you can then apply for a graduate visa, which allows you to spend two years in the UK. And on a graduate visa, you're not restricted to the 20 hours of work time. You can do any job. I mean, you can even be self-employed. You can work um, in any company of your choice. You can do voluntary work. So the graduate route allows you to remain in the UK even after your study. Okay, so now the thing is, for you to qualify for the graduate route, you have to be a student in the UK. You can actually still apply for the graduate route, and even if you're not currently in the UK, because some students actually study in the UK, but they do it from their home country via online studies. If you're studying in the UK and you're not in the UK, you're in your home country studying online, you qualify for the graduate route as well but you can't apply for the graduate route in your home country you have to be in the uk to apply for the graduate route if you're in your home country right now studying any course in the uk in any of the university in the uk you can still apply for the graduate route you just need to come to the uk and do that so what are the requirements for you to qualify for the graduate route you have to have successfully completed an eligible course i mean because obviously it's not every course you study in the UK that qualifies for the graduate route so that is one requirement okay the second requirement is that you need to have existing permission for that course at the point of your application for the um, graduate route and the third requirement is that you need to be in the UK to be able to apply for the graduate route another changes is that students who commence a course of 12 months or less in autumn of 2021 slash spring of 2022 via distance learning from overseas must enter the UK 30th June 2022 and complete their course for them to be eligible for the graduate route. This is good news. That means if you're studying in the UK and even if your course is less than 12 months, you still qualify for the graduate route. Just that you need to actually move to the UK before 30th June of 2022 to be able to, to be eligible to apply for the graduate route. I don't know when you'll be watching this video. I hope you watch the video before 30th of June of 2022. They are giving more opportunities to students. Even if you're studying a course that is 12 months or less, you still have the opportunity to uh, apply for the graduate route. Even if you did not study the course in the UK, what the Home Office is saying that if you still want to apply for the graduate route, you are eligible, but you need to be in the UK before 30th of June. So right now, this I'm making this video um, 4th of April, 2022. So let's say April, May, June, you have two months, guys. If you're watching this video, get pack your bags and start heading to the UK so you can apply for the graduate route. So this is the second one. This is the important one. I saved the best for the last. This is the most important one. So students who have the right to work and are employed by the NHS Trust can work more than 20 hours. There are a list of professions you can actually work in the UK for more than 20 hours, even if you're a student. But mind you, if you're on a scholarship in the UK, you do not qualify for this, you cannot work more than 20 hours, so you have to stick to your 20 hours. But if you're not on a scholarship, you are working for NHS Trust, you can work for more than 20 hours. So 
here are some of the occupation that allows you to work for more than 20 hours in the uk is this not good news i mean you can work more than 20 hours now if you work in this profession and if you're working for nhs trust students will have the right to work and are employed directly by an nhs trust within any of the profession listed below which i'll be listing shortly will not be restricted to the 20 hours per week during term time and may work without limit on the number of hours permitted for the nhs role right okay so these are the profession listed biochemist biological scientist dental practitioner health professional medical practitioner medical radiographer midwife nurse occupational therapist i can't pronounce this song so i'm just gonna write it down here podiatrist psychologist social worker i mean this one got me i mean social worker if you are a social worker and you're working for the nhs trust you can work for more than 20 hours i mean speech and language therapist therapy professional so these are all the list of profession you can work for more than 20 hours and it has to be with the nhs trust this is a temporary change by the home office and students and employers are advised to always check the home office website for latest updates because they might change this anytime okay they wrote it on their website this is a temporary change so if you're a student watching this know that this is a temporary change so you need to always stay updated and in case you want to read more about what i've talked about i will leave the link of this information in my description box below i am not an immigration expert I do not give professional advice so everything is I'm um, talking to you about is the research I hope this video was helpful and I I hope you are you know you're gingered now and if you're a student watching this you're working for the NHS trust do not fret you can work for more than 20 hours a week now okay so you can always check um, the NHS web website to know if you're not sure if the company you're working for is under the nhs trust you can always check that on from the nhs site you can always confirm if the company you're currently working with is under the nhs trust i hope this good news put a smile on someone's face because i have come to the end of this video if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up like share comment subscribe if you have not and guys if you're a student watching this come on share this video you know Share the video so that more students, your fellow students will be able to see this and they will start looking for jobs. I mean, if you're working in social care already, then you can take home more hours, right? Subscribe to the channel if you have not support your girl and I will see you in my next video. Bye.